What's up, my name is Tecnobe here for Troubleshoot, and in today's video, I'm going to run through a fairly common problem with Python on a Windows computer. So, assuming you open up a command prompt window and you tell it to pip install something, such as URL lib3, so pip install URL lib3, as such, you hit enter, and then instead of getting something like this saying you already have it installed or it's busy installing, then you'll get something along the lines of pip is not a recognized command. Now, of course, this isn't specific to Windows, but this video today is going to show you how to fix that on Windows. So first of all, you want to make sure that Python is properly installed and added to your path. With a command prompt window open, simply type in Python as such and see if you get dropped into the Python interpreter as such. If you do, hit Control Z, enter to exit out of it. But of course, if it doesn't, then try Python 3, Python 2, etc, etc. And if you get a pop-up like this that takes you to the Microsoft Store, then obviously just ignore that. But as you can see, I have Python installed properly already. Now, there's a very easy way to fix this and a slightly more difficult way that may or may not work for you. The first way is to go ahead and reinstall it. Though, of course, you'll only really want to do this if you have a few packages that you're more than happy to download and install again. If you have hundreds of packages installed and you don't want to go through and install all of them again using pip, then that's understandable. Of course, the easiest way to solve this is to go ahead and download Python from python.org and try and install it. I'm currently using Python 3.8.2, so that's what I'll be downloading. After you download the installer from python.org and open it up, you'll see something like this. We can simply run repair and it should try and fix everything as is. Though, of course, if you would like to nuke it and install just a couple of packages again when you're done, you can simply click uninstall, then open up the exact same installer and click install, then follow through the options. Though, when you get presented with an option of whether you'd like to include it in path or capitals, make sure that is checked. I'll guide you through that on a sandbox. So, opening up Python installer, as you can see, I can click install now, but before you do that, make sure to check add Python to path then go ahead and follow through with the installation. Of course, this is just a VM, so I'll go ahead and close it. Then we get to the second, slightly more involved and possibly may not work solution that might just work for you. So assuming that you type Python into the command prompt window over here and you don't see a response like this, or Python works and pip doesn't, then we can go ahead and fix this. The simplest way is to press start and type in Python. Assuming that the Python command works, it should pop up somewhere on this list. Simply right click on Python and then click open file location. Then we'll be taken across to the shortcut as such or into the actual folder. If you see a bunch of shortcuts, right click on Python and then click open file location once again. Now we're in the install folder, see Python 38. But of course, this is probably somewhere different for you. So next up, let's go ahead and add this to our path if it's not already there. Press start and type in path, P-A-T-H. Then click edit system environment variables and we'll get this pop-up. Click environment variables in the bottom right and we'll see this. Then locate path at the very top here under user variables. But of course, if you want to change it for all users, you can try changing it in the path down here. So I'll click on path at the top and then edit. As you can see at the very top, I already have C Python 38 and C Python 38 scripts. Now the scripts folder is where pip is actually installed. There it is over there, pip.exe. We also have pip3.8.exe and pip3.exe. Assuming that you have multiple installations, these different ones over here are probably to help compatibility to point you to the correct install folder. If you have multiple of them, add it to path. But with that aside, let's just say that C Python 38 was here and the scripts folder wasn't included. Well, heading back to the path window, simply make sure to open up these scripts as such and copy the directory or be ready to type it in. Then I'll click new and we'll paste in the address. So see Python 38 scripts and then we'll click anywhere and that'll save. And of course, if you don't have Python added as such, we'll go ahead and add it like that. Now that we have both Python and scripts here, I'll go ahead and click OK and then OK once again. OK, closing out of this window. If we go ahead and restart a command prompt window, then type in Python, you should see that it works and pip, you'll see that that works as well. Now in a couple of rare cases, if this didn't work for you, then hopefully repairing will work for you. If repairing still doesn't work for you, then I'd recommend making a list of packages that you downloaded with pip 
because the easiest solution for you from here is to go ahead and uninstall Python, then reinstall it completely from scratch. If you'd like to move it to a different install location, then now is your chance. Anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found it somewhat useful. My name is Techno here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.